All right, I am super excited to do a walk around and test drive video on this car. Uh, this is a 1971 Mustang Boss 351. Very rare car. They only produced 1,806 back in 1971. And this one's even rarer than that. Tons of rare options, power windows, power locks. Uh, I drove this thing yesterday and I absolutely fell in love. I didn't want to get out of it. Super cool car. It's not power locks, you actually can lock the windows. Oh, power window locks. That's yeah, pretty crazy. That's pretty freaking weird. I didn't even know that was such a thing in I know I didn't either. I just wanted to correct you on that. But the other cool thing is a lot of these must have either been options added afterwards or dealer installed options. Because um, this thing came factory as a grabber yellow car. Um, it had power steering, AM radio. Um, so some of these factory options that are on here now were added later, either at the dealer or added by the also restorer. Also had the convenience package. Uh, but we have both Martyr boards, the extra detailed one shown. This is a one of seven car. Um, and then just your, your typical Marty report. We have both those folded on the website, but super cool car guys. I'm really excited sticking around at the end of this video. What I love about the restoration on this car, it's got the Magna 500 wheels. It's got uh, like new wide oval bias fly tires. How cool is that? Um, and this thing drives just as freaking nice as it looks. On the hood, you got your, uh, you know, solid, solid lifter, solid lifter motor um, with all the, the boss goodies on there. Ram air, power steering, fantastic. I think this thing runs so quiet, just let this one run the whole video, D. Good, good information for the next guy to, to know too. You want to make sure that gets nice and warmed up before you drive it harder or high revs. So, with a solid lifter. Good point. So as we go underneath the hood, um, this is not a numbers matching 351 block. Um, it was dated in 72. It's got as far as all the solid lifter stuff. As far as we can tell, a lot of the original stuff on it but it's not the original block anymore. Chances are uh, early in this life, uh, somebody blew the hell out of that block. But as far as we were told, and as far as we can tell, it's got all the correct boss uh, stuff on the engine as far as you know, carbon intake and all that, all the goodies. The fit and finish on this car is just fantastic. It's got the front spoiler, rear spoiler, up and down the side, just laser straight. I love the chrome on the front. I like that too. That's kind of neat. It's gorgeous. The chrome and stainless up front is beautiful. It's got a tiny little chip right here down in the spot with the hood. But look how the hood fits on this car. This is one that I'm really excited to have in our inventory because they, from the factory, they produced 1800. Uh, but right now, registered, you know, in the, the yeah. boss registry, there's only about 590 still around. So, wow. and this is a one of seven cars. That's so super, probably... super rare. This is an older paint job, and I'll be honest with you guys, this car came in so clean, we didn't even detail it yet. So there's gonna be a couple of smudges and stuff on it, but um, lower fender is awesome. We do have one little paint blister right here at the very front edge of the door. Again, older restoration, but a very, very solid car. The bottom of the door here is perfect quarter panel is awesome where it fits the bottom of the door and top of the door body line is great over the wheel well is excellent of course it's got the dual exhaust it's got the flip down gas lid door tail lights original Ford tooling they're in beautiful condition power antenna and it works perfectly. Quarter panels are awesome. There's no stress cracks or any issues here whatsoever. Back glass has got rear defrost on it. That's pretty rare as well. Rubbers, felts, everything is in excellent shape. Paint the door jams is very nice. Carpet is excellent. It's got the fold down rear seat, which is another option. Power windows. And that fold down area is perfect, isn't it? it was, and it was ordered with the, the Mach 1 Sport interior. Yep. So that's all original that way. It's been restored, I'm guessing, but 
Tell you what, you really step back into time when you get in this 1971 Boss 351. That's why I didn't want to get out of it yesterday. Every single thing works. The clock, the power windows, every dome light. Uh, ship's awesome. Clutch feels good. No way. Uh-uh. She's got it all, man. Power trunk. Rim blown steering wheel, too. Go ahead and leave the trunk open. Just light in here works. Temp gauge, oil pressure is way over on the high side. Battery gauge works. AM FM stereo clock works. Heater fan works. Wipers, they got the delayed wipers. It's got a factory tack works as well, gas gauge. It's got 72,873 miles. Look at this. This is what Dalton was talking about earlier. All the power windows with the power lock. So you can lock the windows so they can't uh, roll them in the back seat, roll them down. The dome light works and it's the uh, the better quality one there is too. It's got the overhead seat belts. Like I said, the back is just absolutely mint. All the chrome, everything. You're right, Dalton. And this car is just super exciting. It is. I like it a lot. Space saver inside the trunk. I mean, just look at all the detail in here. Super clean. No overspray on any of the bolts. And it's it's kind of cool that we you know haven't really detailed the because You can tell how the last guy took care of it. I mean, just just clean as hell. Very very well taken care of, especially with an older repaint. I mean, original color, but an older repaint. It looks as damn nice. Quarter panels excellent over the wheel well. Look up and down the sides. It's in great shape. This is a huge hood and it lines up excellent. Top of the door lines up nice. A couple more little tiny little bubbles right here in the very front of that black. The nice thing on this black, if they want to go ahead and fix that, very easy fix. You don't have to get into any of the yellow, tape it off, fix it. Super easy to do. It's got one chip there too. One little blemish right there. Corner of the door is nice. Got your factory stickers there. Door panel is pristine. Carpet is excellent. Here's your rear defrost. Parking brake works. Painting the door jams all looks good. Bottom corner of the fender, bottom corner of the uh, door looks nice. It's got your you know, half vent or ventilation there where you can open it up. I used that yesterday driving. It kept my feet nice and cool. Here's your power antenna. Wow, I couldn't believe it had the power trunk too. I know, it's neat. It's really got every option and then some. There's also on the How back about tilt wheel? We didn't talk about that. Yeah. Tilt wheel. That's cool. Yeah, they, they checked every box when they ordered this thing. But what really stuck out to me is just how everything works, you know? All the, the lights, the and even down to the to the clock. Reverse lockout. You know, it still works. Yeah, you gotta we put it everything on. I mean, it's in excellent shape. Got a little extra fuses here. We just got a 69 Camaro RS SS in. Beautiful car the guy's owned since 1981. And I compare it, it drove so awesome. I just took it for a cruise. Just nice and smooth. This car is the same way, just yep. tight and nice. Here's your brakes, absolutely perfect. No pull left or right. It's got disc brakes on the front. Look at our oil pressure, Dalton, let's get that. And we are at uh, 800 RPM right now and our oil pressure's way up there. Temp gauge is good. Super smooth. I'm gonna say this car's got some serious lift to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's neat. And these cars are, are kind of the forgotten boss, you know. If you think of a boss, you really almost everyone forgets about the 71 boss 351. Watch your arm, I'm just gonna roll up all yeah. the windows just like that. Look how fast they are too, that's insane. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. One of those switches. There you are, now you got her. 
sense of why it is too. So I've driven a lot of 70 Boss 302s lately, and uh, you know they just don't have any low end power at all. I'm glad this hand hold on for me. Yeah. Gives me another reason to go through the gears one more time. Here's our synchros, guys. Our second gear. We're still rolling about 30. First gear. Maybe that was third. There's. That shifts. Man, that's 80 mile an hour just like that. Um, even lower gears. I mean, we're doing 75 mile an hour, 3,600 RPM. Look at the steering wheel, even with that kind of RPM. I mean, just nice and smooth. And we're on bias by tires, though. Yeah, that's awesome. I really like this car a lot. It's one that you can jump in and just drive home, you know? absolutely perfect check it out on the website coyoteclassics.com i kind of hope this thing sticks around a little bit but i have a feeling that it's going to be finding a new home soon